Hello, uh, I'm Gaz from Supergrass, and uh, I'm going to be playing through uh, Richard III for you to join in with me. All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm going to go uh, through uh, Richard III now for you on uh, on electric. So yeah, this this kind of starts off. There's there's a few different sections to this song. I mean, it starts off with an intro. I, I kind of wrote it on a bass. Uh, I got my bass out and just kind of wrote the wrote the riff and the kind of the guitar was in a, in a sense secondary to that at that point. The intro is nice and basic, just two chords. Uh, first one being A A major. <laughs> Straight, straight A major. I don't worry about, I don't worry about the E string ringing out. It's just, a... and then you just move. You're going to move that up uh, to the, uh, uh, to the. Uh, well, what frets this? I don't know. Just, just up here. Uh, <laughs> uh, the I, I could count them. Should I count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fret. Uh, to do, to keep the same shape. Then A, A shape. And you can keep the A. Uh, the A string ring in, it's fine. So the first first chord straight A, <laughs> then to the uh... okay, yeah, and it kind of does that a few times around around the intro, um, and then le leads in the, the kind of lead into the to the start of the song, if you like, is uh, is a is a kind of a run up the neck. Uh, I kind of I kind of run up the neck and it runs down and sort of. Kind of spreads out, uh, and this is just these are kind of just uh, two note things, just playing an octave basically. You've got the uh, it starts on C, and you've got the C, and then you've got the, uh, the the high octave of the C. And if you can play that, trying to kind of dampen the other strings, uh, so you just when you hit it, you just hear those two those two strings. Uh, so then you, and then you move it up. So it's those four notes, basically. So those are the those are the four the four notes in the in the run up to what 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 will be the verse. But I'll just play play through it how how it kind of uh, just generally what I do kind of live, you know. Although you, without the other instruments, it may may not make as much sense. But so yeah, basically it's kind of. Those are the two chords, really. The intro, pretty simple, uh, and uh, I, I find that it's nice. It's nice to kind of slide from the uh, from the A to the to the, uh, the E flat on the eighth on the eighth fret. It's just kind of nice and simple and you can you know have to take your hands off the guitar and <laughs> it kind of gives a nice ring is when you kind of do a little bit of vibrato on the uh, on, on, on a couple of them I'm not sure where I do it I probably change it every time I play it but uh, it's just a kind of <laughs> both both the strings you just kind of you know wobble your hand around a little bit really just to kind of and it, kind of, it sort of adds to sustain a little bit as well and just kind of I mean, if you've got kind of a heap load of distortion, it's it's, it's it, uh, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. So uh, so yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the intro. I'll play it for you and, and uh, I'll count in and, and and play along. Okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> That's the intro, okay. And then you, then we're going to get into the verse here now, where um, it's kind of the same, same first two chords, the uh, the A to the uh, to the E flat. And now I'm going to kind of add in a little bit of the bass line, the bass line riff. So just the very beginning bit of that is is, is you kind of you, you've got the A shape, and you're just going to sort of almost uh, kind of uh, you kind of hammer on and off from the from the C the C note here on the third fret. You just kind of. Uh, <laughs> If you if you think about starting the chord like that, like like with the uh, with your finger on the uh, on the C, C note here on the on the third fret, 
uh, just imagine that you're starting like that and on, on the uh, on kind of the, the second or third beats just taking it off so you know with the strum you kind of go so when you come back up on, 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 your, str on your kind of strumming with your, with your right hand that's when you pull off the C note so it's kind of just a little blues little blues lick at, at the beginning of the note and then the uh, you do the same chord here that we were doing in the intro, but instead of leaving the A note, the A string uh, ringing, you kind of just make it into a bar chord with the actual root uh, E flat here. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so it's kind of like this two, three, four. Yep, so that's the verse, that's all it is, just those two chords. Yeah, so then uh, if we move on to the chorus, uh, which comes straight out of the E flat, uh, we land on a C bar chord. And then uh, we go down to a, a G sharp a bar chord. And then down to a G of the bar. And this is, uh, the next bit is now where you repeat the, uh, the, the rise up uh, on the intro, which is just that, that C with the octave, C with the high C. A little bit of vibrato, if you fancy it. Uh, yeah, and that's, uh, that's, the, that's the chorus. So uh, again, I just, it's a C. To the G sharp, these are all bar chords. To the G, and then to the run up. So if I count you in, we'll just play through that chorus. One, two, three, four. thing to do on the G sharp is to is to pop a little uh, kind of suspended note in it it's kind of I don't know it's a bit of a it's a kind of who sort of uh, you know Townsendy sort of moment if you like if you want to get into that um, so on the G sharp I'd like to so it's basically kind of you put your little finger from the from the D string here you, you kind of uh, you move it up to the G string, just with a little bit of movement. Just so you kind of take it off again. You kind of on. So uh, I'll play through the verse, uh, the chorus with with that little extra, extra little bit there. So one, two, three, four. To the verse, and then the next section that follows is, comes after a chorus. Uh, it's the middle eight section, um, which again is, is 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 very much kind of rooted to you know to what the bass is doing. The bass is kind of the driving instrument through this. So I'm I'm sort of playing a kind of uh, uh, some more melodic kind of rhythmic stuff, kind of based around G G to F. Uh. And I'm playing G here in a, in a sort of uh, uh, in a kind of the F the F shape. Uh, it's not not a bar chord, or it's not the, uh, the usual G. It's just here. It's kind of like a C shape, but if you kind of move your fingers kind of down down the strings, so you're on the D string and you're on the G and you're on the B string, and keeping the uh, the top E string as well on the G fret. So you've got those two, and then you just add that finger there. And then you move down exactly the same, down to the F, uh, down to the F, and then back up to the G, 
Back down to the F. And then this, this, uh, this A thing with the C on it, which was at the start of the verse, we, we then go on to that for, the, uh, for just a little um, kind of middle riff within the middle eight, which is just... And uh, you, we kind of extend that further by doing the same thing on the G, on the bottom G string, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the G fret, on the E string. So we, we, we're going to go... Uh, which is, again, it's just kind of, it's just, it's just blues, really. Um, so we have the, first, the first chord is the G. And the F. Back to the G. Back to the F. And then the little blues riff. And what I kind of what I generally do is I, I put little things, uh, my little finger on the on the top E string here to, to just embellish these the G and the F chord, which is it's kind of quite nice, sort of a little sort of a little bit Hendrixy kind of. Second time you do it, instead of going to the F the last time, you just go to a G sharp, so it goes. And then back into the blues riff. Twice, twice the length of time. slides between the F and the G which are just again just kind of smooth it all out so it's just it's not so kind of uh, you know it's not disjointed it's just kind of nice and smooth actually I'll play through it with you you can, you can play along and see if you can. okay so one two three four <laughs> the middle eight if you uh, I mean you know you can do it really simply as well you know it can just just be a, a, a case of just the, the, the G and the F uh, on their own and if you you know as you play it more and more if you if you feel like it you can pop the the fourth finger on this this top E string but you know you can still just do a sort of Even the slide is kind of, you know, you, you, you don't have to just kind of, you know, just for now you can just, you know, hit the chords in the right place and it's, it's you know, if you're playing along to the track it will still sound cool. You know, it's just, you know, as you get more confidence you can, you can pop the... Uh if you get really good you can go all kind of Hendrixy on it. And all that kind of stuff, but you know, it's, it's sort of, it's just... You know the chords are what are what it's about. So, um, so yeah, that's that's the middle eight there. So then we move into the kind of guitar solo area. I'm not going to go through that necessarily. I'll, I'll just uh, there's a lead up to the guitar solo, which is uh, which is then continued later on for the outro of the song. So you, you're coming out of the middle eight, uh, and then you're going to be playing a, a C minor, but it's a uh, C minor seventh on a bar chord. So as you come out of the middle eight. And this is uh, this is the first little bit of the little kind of break before the solo. This is probably what I call the, the hammer on, uh, in the, in in the way that you're not going to do anything with this hand. If you've got enough kind of uh, if you've got enough sustain on the amp or enough distortion, it's it's, it's so much easier. It's it's you know it's, it's virtually impossible to get nice sort of sustaining hammer-ons on, on acoustic guitar or anything. But it, it you kind of just taking these fingers, these two fingers off, and then putting them on and taking them off. And if you can, you've got to try and sort of on the way off, just kind of try and 
try and catch them a bit, catch the strings from the fingers, so it ends up as a kind of like... That kind of thing. So yeah, I'll, I'll just go from the previous section into that bit just to see how you, how you can see it works out. So coming out of the middle A on the, uh, the bluesy riff on the A, you've got the... That's kind of about it, really. Rhythm-wise, it's sort of varied. Some of it's kind of uh, your kind of standard sort of <coughs> that kind of rhythm, uh, and other bits I kind of change it and, and come back up with a strum. Um, I mean, in the verse, for example, uh, uh, again, sometimes I, I just kind of play it and don't really know what I'm doing, and, it, and I do change it each time a little bit. But uh, but generally, the verses will be kind of. Uh, uh, a little mixture of both, probably. And with the chorus, it's again, similar, just a little bit of both, some, some just kind of... Those ones being very simple, the, uh, the the rise up is just sort of strikes on the chord. And like I said, the key to that is try not to get any other other strings ringing if you can. Just try and block them off. And, um, but rhythmically, it's it's kind of like that through the whole song. There's there's some some bits where it's straight, you know, like I said that, and some bits where you kind of you're coming back. I mean, especially with the. Uh, when I do that one, it's kind of, you, you strike down for the... And when you come back off, when you pull off the C string, you, you come up here. So it's kind of, uh, it, it, that's the same with all the sections, really. All right, so yeah, those are, those are all the sections. Uh, and maybe, you know, we'll just try and piece them together and, and, uh, and play along and, uh, and see how far we get. I mean, I won't, you know, don't need to do the whole thing, but uh, I'll show you how they kind of, the, each section goes together. So we start with the uh, the intro. One, two, three, four.
solo and then uh, out into a chorus and uh, the outro, which is the same, like I said, the same as those hammer-ons in their little break. Uh, which you'll hear if you play along to the track. So, uh, so there you have it, Richard III. I mean, the main thing to get from it is really, you know, you can be as loose as you want with the rhythm. There is no, you know, believe me, there's no set way of doing it. I don't, I don't do it the same each time. Uh, it's a kind of, it's a matter of feel and, um, and, uh, and just, just kind of rock and roll and just, just kind of letting yourself go and, and just enjoying the chords. So, uh, yeah, so have a good one with it.